achieve higher quality crop yields and increase the quantity of agricultural produce with the help of science and technology. To ensure that the country's agricultural sector continues to grow and compete with other countries, then modern technology must be implemented. For indoor cultivation, this form of agriculture includes the latest hydroponic technology, remote sensing technology, and lighting technology. Greenhouse Smart Grow is a project that was designed as an alternative for people who want to grow their vegetables in their homes. This model combines hydroponic technology, the greenhouse concept, and solar technology. The sun will emit light to the solar panel and the solar panel will absorb the sunlight energy. Then, the solar panel will transfer that energy to the power source battery. The power source battery will convert that energy into electricity. The electric energy is then channeled to the LED light and the LED light will light up. Plants will get sunlight at night through the solar energy. We have used solar energy to illuminate the plant for another 4 hours from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. daily to encourage photosynthesis to take place. As a result, crops are found to grow faster than those grown by conventional methods. Process First step is the preparation of greenhouse rack. First, prepare some PVC pipe rods and cut it to the desired size to build the frame of GSG model. Then, attach the PVC pipe together to form a strong GSG frame and wrap it using transparent plastic and mosquito net as the door. Second step is the preparation of hydroponic sets. We need to prepare some plastic containers according to GSG shelf measurements made earlier. After that, take some polystyrene and punch 8 holes in it and place it on the top of the plastic container. Lastly, place a plastic cup with a little holes that have been drilled underneath it into the polystyrene hole. Next, the third step is the installation of solar panel. We put a simple solar panel set that has been purchased on the top of the model to absorb sunlight energy during the day and provide energy for LED lights to light up during the night. The last step is the cultivation and harvesting of vegetable products. First of all, select the seeds of leafy plants and sow the seeds and place it in the plastic cup. Then, prepare the crop fertilizer that are solutions A and B, which are commonly used in hydroponic cultivation. Next, we need to wait until the crop has grown to maturity and is suitable for harvesting to get a good crops. The advantages of our project compared to the conventional method like using soil are shown in the table. Greenhouse Smart Grow does not require spacious land or space. Vegetables planted in GSD will be safe from pest attacks and grow healthier and fresher. Next, food farming uses so much water because it loses so much water. Water evaporates, rolls away and puddles, making much of it unusable. That's a lot of waste. The hydroponic technique uses about 10 times less water because it is delivered in a controlled way. Plus, some systems recirculate water, reducing consumption even more than soil planting. Also, hydroponic produces veggies twice as fast and does not use any chemical pesticides and herbicides. For nutrient control, hydroponic systems feed plants a nutrient solution, mix it with water, giving the farmer better control over what nutrients their crops soak up. Lastly, GSD can be applied indoors. Discussion Since we live in apartments and small terrace houses, we have very little space to grow plants. When using the conventional method, we found out that the production of crop is insufficiently luscious. So, we came up with an idea to solve this problem. We created a spacious mobile structure for use in narrow spaces at a reasonable price for long-term use. Next, we combined the application of three technologies. There are hydroponics, solar and greenhouses to produce urban gardens innovations that are most suitable for continuous cost of living saving. Most importantly, it managed to produce luscious veggies in a short time. Now, it is novelty and uniqueness. Firstly, we use multi-level hydroponic rack, so there will be more space to plant more crops. 
Next one is protected with mosquito net that was installed at the front door to avoid pest attack. Lastly, we built it using PVC pipe to replace heavy metal so it is easier to move and portable. Meanwhile, these are our units. Firstly, we use solar energy as a power source. The solar panel will absorb the sunlight during the day and convert it into energy which allows the LED light in GST to light up. Secondly, the photosynthesis of our crops can happen 24 hours with the help of LED light. Lastly, GST can be placed indoor or in narrow spaces because the frame of this model does not take up much space due to its elevated structure and can be adjusted according to the place where the model is placed. Next is the commercialization potential. We can sell to local farmers, residents of flats and apartments, and lastly, we can distribute this product to factories to sell it to traders who are fully venturing into farming business. Greenhouse Magro project can be installed on the balcony or in the backyard. It can green the environment and indirectly provide fresh air. It can also assist users in more efficiently planting their vegetables. To come to the point, Greenhouse Magro can also give benefits to mankind. It could reduce global warming as this project encourages everyone to plant trees. People who don't have land can cultivate their vegetables too. This will encourage them to always eat vegetables and increase one's daily income if they sell their good crops. People will also easily get involved in the field of agriculture through greenhouse smart growth. As a result, it possibly can help develop the economy. For example, people can start a business selling high-quality vegetables. They can also get continuous supply as GST can stimulate plant growth faster. They can also use these high-quality vegetables to cook healthier foods and add them into foods like a sandwich, salad, and etc. In conclusion, people will eat healthy foods and become healthy overall. Plants need red and blue light to accelerate plant growth, but in this situation, we have used white LED lights to help the plants grow faster. We have made a study that white LED lights are also great for planting. This is because white LED lights can provide full spectrum light for each color wavelength. The graph here is the result of a study where we were able to prove that white LED lights are suitable for planting. Therefore, white LED lights is no problem to use in this project because it has suitable amount of red wavelength light. White LED lights are also easy to find as they are sold in most hardware stores. Hello! Before this video ends, we would like to say thank you to all the people who support us in the making of this project. Especially to our guidance teacher, the General Huda, and our parents. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video. And thanks for watching! Bye! Thank you.